I'm giving you four things today, four, that is guaranteed to make you a better player at Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. All right, we're going to go over the best gun loadout for you. And by for you, I mean for you. Number two, um, the method for finding out uh, what you should be running and why. This is just very, very straightforward. Um, how to how to test the various setups and how I do it. I've got two recommendations. Um, I think you will like both of them. And it will uh, very easily answer the questions that you may have, um, including what to test specifically. And also some sources for you to play around with um, when you want to explore all these updates. And the reason I'm making this video is because of this. The best Warzone best weapons. Oh my god, they're all the best. Every single one of them. There's always some nerf or buff that suddenly makes a gun the best that it, it is. And that's just not how it works. I'm not saying you shouldn't play around with these classes. What I'm suggesting is that um, you find out what works best for you uh, based on a number of a number of things. So let's 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 get this started. So here are my guns, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And what I want you to start with is I want you to start with what your KD is. Um, now there's a couple things we need to uh, understand about this, okay? So like for example, the X16, I have a 2.77 KD with that gun. Uh, this is not practical for me to use as my primary. Um, when I, you know, it's like I'm just I'm just dropping with ghosts in this uh, X16, though. Uh, you know, hit me up in the comments if this gets enough views and likes, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, Effin Scar, uh, pretty good there, but 48 kills with a 267. That to me, that's not quite enough. And when I look at headshot accuracy and accuracy, um, nah, it's okay. Uh, Graw, you can see, is pretty good. This should be one I should be looking really hard at uh, for an assault rifle class. Uh, lots of kills. Um, headshot accuracy, uh, this is pretty good. Um, lots of hits, lots of shots. Uh, accuracy overall is, is what I would feel is pretty good. And so on and so forth. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to your, go to um, podtracker.gg, right? You see right here. And I want you to look at your weapons and find what is the highest KD for, for um, the gun classes that you like to run. And the reason why I bring that up is there are... So when you get to those videos, like I mentioned before, the best class, best class, best class, is the best gun, is the best gun, everyone's the best gun. Um, there's never not going to be a best gun. Uh, new YouTube video, uh, 213,000 likes. Uh, let's go, let's go. Uh, guys, look. This stuff is dependent on multiple things, but I'm going to start out with just saying that what might be really good for you uh, may not be so good for me, which that is kind of a lie because it's, gonna be better for me than me you're so dumb you are really dumb for real but but, but I, I digress um so sensitivity if i'm a pc player i can tell you that uh or, or let me back that up not say pc if i'm a uh, mouse and keyboard player since uh console has that uh option too there are going to be some guns that just make more sense uh, with a mouse and keyboard than something may with a controller all right and that's both both of those would depend uh neutrally on if you're sensitive if you're a high sensitivity player uh meaning really fast on the sticks uh for your uh, turns or if you're uh maybe more of a wrist aimer uh with a mouse and you only require a couple inches to do a 360 uh, versus if you're an arm aimer um, or if you're a player that um, prefers slower sensitivity or lower sensitivity on a controller because overall it increases your accuracy so you're landing shots so while you may not be turning around to do 180s 
and getting those crazy uh, flick shots, you're not. It doesn't make sense for you to push that because it's not your play style. Um, so there, there's a, a number of factors that uh, that tie into that and why um, nobody can sit there and tell you what gun is the best. Yes, we have statistics and we're going to we're going to cover that uh, with the time to kills and all that good stuff. But. If. That if that if you can't land shots with that gun because the sensitivity and for, for someone else, for example, uh, let me give you one. Um, one of my buddies I play with, uh, he, he hates the Odin. Well, I've, I've been playing with that gun forever. I like it. It's not a main. It's not a sweaty gun. I have it in a meme class, I'll be honest. Uh, but it's fun, man. It's very satisfying when you get those kills. Uh he hates it. He 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 will not run it. Um, but uh, he is more of a wrist aimer. He runs a high sensitivity, uh, really high DPI on a mouse and keyboard setup. That gun is not for him, um, and and it shouldn't be. Uh, also, it, you know, that's a gun that you have to kind of tap 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 uh, as far as uh, landing shots. You don't just hold it hold it down, or at least I don't just hold it down and and, and spray because, in all seriousness, that takes a lot of skill. And um, the way that my setup is, that's not that's not going to work for me. So, um, so we've covered the um, what you should be looking at as far as KD. I want you to also consider um, headshot accuracy because that that is a big deal. So if we sort out headshot accuracy here, <laughs> all right. So MG34, dang. I mean, almost. almost I mean, look at that. Like, I'm unstoppable. I'm a beast. I'm unstoppable. I've got 21 kills with it, so like that's not real. Um, that's not real data to go off of. But let's look at some of the higher stuff. Like if we're looking at sniping, um, we're gonna skip past the M2 because that's not really practical. But we can get to the Car 98. Uh, 34% headshot accuracy is pretty good. Uh, HDR 595, um, just right there. Uh, X50 23. Why? Why am I such doo doo with that gun? I don't know. Um, so we look at headshot accuracy. We look at KDs. You know, we got two on the HDR, just it's you know, uh, 0.99 on the car 98. And uh, I think we know why. Anybody else tank their KD with their gun, uh, making it gold? Raise your hand or comment <laughs> ripped in the chat. But does that not go out of you? In any case, uh, another one I want you to look at is your shot accuracy. So, you your headshot accuracy, your KDs, and your shot accuracy. Uh, again, if, uh, and, and, and you can sort this by whatever you run. Um, if, if you're the guy that prefers sniping, um, you know, you sort this by snipers and see where you, where you, where, where, where you should be living, right? So for me, clearly this should be the HDR. Um, so, Incidentally, um, my favorite sniper is the the Car 98, which um, I am probably got some good snaps with it, but um, it's just fun. I'll be honest with you. It's just fun. I think at the end of the day, that's what we're doing. We're having fun. Um, but if you truly want to make that sweaty class memes aside, what I should be doing is if I'm running a sniper, um, I, the HDR, is, that, that's a no brainer straight up um if we're running smgs for example my uh favorite is the mp5 and actually ironically it's i'll be honest with you it's a change i made to it recently which makes no sense there you very rarely see anybody uh running it but you can see katie's pretty high uh, by comparison not counting the mp7 which was my main forever and i still like to go back to that gun because um, man, it puts some rounds down. And when you're on and you zero somebody's head, it's just, it's over for them. But again, it, 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 that's based on sensitivity, uh, play style. Uh, if you're the guy that um, maybe is moving a little bit slower, might be more practical to run something like an AUG. Um, if you, uh, you know, the Strike of 45 um, is amazing with the, with the higher powered uh, rounds. So there's a lot you can do here, and I, and I will tell you, man, that P90 has never let me down. I don't know why I don't play with that gun more. It is a laser when it's configured right. Um, 
I need to play around with that more. But in any case, um, look at headshot accuracy over here. Uh, P90 is where it's at. But these are very close. Um, incidentally, my KD being the highest uh, factoring in probably time to kill is with the MP5. And um, quite honestly, that I would say it goes without saying it's because the shot accuracy. I'm, I'm landing more shots. Uh, so I can lose uh, in a couple places um, in terms of uh, headshot accuracy because at least I'm hitting them. So got that going for me. Um, so it should apply to all of these. So let's talk a little bit more about um, your play style and um, why this stuff here is not really relevant to you specifically. Um, and, and mainly that's in regards to class setups. All right. If you are a, if you are, if you're, if you are a run and gun player, maybe consider, you know, if you're on the aggressive side, if you're going for high kills, um, you know, winning's fun, but you'd rather, you know, send it with the boys or the girls, um, maybe consider don't bring a sniper, uh, go, uh, Go with something that's built more for higher fraggers, SMG, uh, LMG, uh, or an SMG with an assault rifle class, something like that. And one thing I like to do uh, when I pick up when I pick up a class, I always have my um, like the de facto uh, close quarter uh, gun on top. Like that's what I start with. I see a lot of players, they'll, they'll have like, uh, we'll just use the Gras, for example, because that was the meta for so long. Um, they'd have the Gras on top, and then they would have the uh, SMG uh, MP5 right below it. Well, I would always reverse that, because um, I don't want to switch guns um, when I'm grabbing kit, because nine times out of ten, literally, uh, that engagement when you're at the buy station, and for the world out there listening, meaning... Activision's world because we're just living in it um, or Infinity Ward uh, developer versus uh, publisher. Please take out the confirmation uh, when you go to the buy stations. Um, make this faster for us. Uh, we click heads um, across an entire map and kill people. We picked something. We picked what we wanted. Just skip that part. Uh, it's a time waster. It gets people shot in the back. It's dumb. Um, or Something else I'd like to see, and not to digress, but uh, the ability to edit class uh, in game. So uh, I think that'd be awesome. Uh, you can do it in Blood Money and Plunder. You can do it in um, regular multiplayer. But that would be nice inside of Warzone. Um, I'm going to stay away from how your classes should be up specifically, except that I will say that you should have your primary go to class. Should, Follow that up with a ghost class or vice versa. And then you should have what I call um, the last stand class That's where you're coming in uh, fully loaded uh, as a perk for your weapons. Um, this will help you big time if uh, you're in a game that's really rough and you just got out of the gulag. What? No, that never happened. I always just win. And you have to pick up a loadout at the very last second and you you need ammo the circle's tight there's a lot of people left you're not going to be running around looking for it if you're running a higher rate fire gun like the m13 uh, the, the kilo is another one that can get you in trouble um playing with some buddies uh yesterday and um i had a higher kill game uh it was round 14 and but it would not have been that except that uh, there were a, just the way the circles were landing. Um, there were a lot of long range engagements. Guess who didn't have a sniper? I didn't, but it was out at farmlands. Um, but not where the, uh, not, not where all the houses are. So there were a lot of rounds going down range. And fortunately, um, one of my teammates just kept dropping, uh, kept dropping ammo. And I was, I was fully loaded, uh, when we started getting into those, but man, and um, I dealt a ton of damage, but with those long range engagements, even with the damage dealt, uh, people are behind cover, uh, ammo becomes a big deal. So that's all I'm going to say on the uh, the way that the classes should be structured for, for Warzone, or at least BR portion of Warzone. Um, 
blood money and uh, thunder, go for it because you can make some match like as soon as you die or whatever. And I love that mode. I, I will say. So I think that covers um, the that that covers two of the um, two of the four. But let's get to the third. Um, how to test what you're running. So you've you've gone through here. You 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 know your playstyle. You know your aggressive uh, fragger. So you want to run SMG and an assault rifle, right? You pick your loadout, and you're ready to go. Let me show you the two ways that, that, that I do this, okay? All right, so this portion is gonna apply towards those who own the full copy of the game and we'll cover what you do if you do not, okay? Um, first thing you do, you're gonna go to private match trials, all right? You go custom game and we're gonna do a game setup. The map that we're gonna choose is gonna be for, for there, for this instance, we're going to choose speedball. Um, if it was, if if I was working on snipers, I would probably go to um, uh, this map here, this uh, Euphrates uh, Bridge. I don't know if I said that right, but um, regardless, it's more open. Um, so, and then team deathmatch is fine. And then we're going to add bots. What you're going to do for bots is if you've got a duos buddy that you play with most of the time, then what you're going to need to do is what I would suggest is that you add two, uh, two bots, um, and you're going to set them at the hardest difficulty setting, or you, you could add, you could add four if you mainly play with a squad. So we'll do, we'll do four, um, veteran. And this is, uh, but honestly, if you're really wanting to uh, to send it, you could do four regardless. But I have found that um, there are there are different choices that you should be making based on uh, and by choices I mean weapons configurations based on whether you're running uh, solos, duos, trios, or or quads. It may make sense to salvage some sacrifice on recoil sensitivity because you're only gonna have to face maybe two people at once. So maybe that sixty round mag doesn't make sense. So um, just keep that in mind. So we'll just do four here. And pro tip, you're going to go down and you're going to change the match start time to five seconds because nobody wants to wait for that intro. Uh, normally I increase this a little bit and this is going to be over in a second because I'm not going to run through this whole thing. So hang on. Um, but if you're really testing guns, you want to increase uh, these times because you you're going to be out of the screen while you're configuring guns as you come uh, in and out. So you don't want time to expire when you're uh, when you're in the middle of it. Two things here uh, under player one, if you are not testing snipers, I would suggest setting uh, the max health the 250. Um, if you're testing snipers, if that's your primary thing, I would go ahead and set max health to 200. The reason why you do that is because there's some, I don't know if it's a bug and um, maybe it's been fixed, I don't know, but headshots on this do not equate to, with snipers, to headshots uh, in war zone. So 200 is the spot where if you, you dink them in the head, then uh, they're, they're dead. Uh, so if you're running a sniper, put it at 200 um, for this. If you're running, um, you know, so say something that's more of a, uh, a push class, something more aggressive. And that's actually what I set up here. Uh, I did exactly, I, I did the uh, MP5 as my uh, SMG. And I did the Graw, which um, I've, I feel like I haven't played with forever, um, as my uh, assault rifle. So um, right here, just make sure that you change the health. Uh, something else I do when I want to test classes, um, if I found a gun or something I think is really good, then there is a streamer that I play with. Her name is, uh, Epic Bunyan, and she is a straight up fragger, man. Um, if I want to test to see how good a gun is, uh, her and I will drop in here 1v1 and, um, I'll know real quick if the gun's any good or, or not. So... At that point, um, start the match and uh, see how it goes. So we'll we'll take a look at this real quick and uh, see see what this looks like. Again, um, you know, a lot of the stuff is going to be dependent on your play style, and you might find that you, 
while you like to snipe, you just have more fun fragging. So here's the class I built. This is literally a Warzone class, so um, this is what I would run in game. They're no joke on veteran guys. Hope you try to drop shot me, you believe that? And this is my first game on, so forgive me. This is how you get better, guys. This is exactly how you get better. He drops on me. Yep. So this will put you in those situations that you might find yourself in in Warzone when you're running against that dude. That dude threw. Can you believe he threw a knife at me? You might find yourself in, uh, you know, when it's just, you know, man, this kind of makes me want to get the growl again. Look at that. Um, that you might find yourself in when your team is dead and you're by yourself. So that's what I would suggest. Now that's for that's for the people that have the full game. So let's look at let's look at what we're doing for those that don't have the full game that can't jump into a customs match. All right, so for you that do not have the full game, that cannot run a custom, um, or have a uh, a friend that you can one v one with, which is uh, always awesome. Uh, it's funny. Speedball to me is like a house on siege. That's that's where stuff gets settled. I mean, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, what what I do is I draw, and I do this anyway. Um, I drop plunder or blood money. Uh, don't fill uh, unless I'm memeing. Uh, on stream and that will definitely help um, get you an idea on if you should use this gun configuration or that co gun configuration and that's going to be based again on uh, you your sensitivity your play style all that good stuff and let's see here one of my favorites uh, hands down um, with plunder is the fact that you get respawns. So it's easier to test there than it would obviously be for, um, for, uh, you know, just BR of any, any type, uh, comment, uh, down below. If you've beat my, um, kills, uh, this is solo versus squads, um, in blood money or, or plunder. So I wish I would have recorded that match cause it was awesome. There was a really salty people, and when the band uh, when the band started coming through, I was just like, "Oh man, please!" Because I know I'm getting reported because people were flat out raging. Um, it was it was it was a good time. Um, so, last thing um, that we wanted to go over is the uh, the the tools. All right, tools you should be playing with: um, CodGunData.com. This is pretty neat. Anthony Zachman, it's his site, uh, not affiliated with uh, Activision um, or, you know, Infinity Ward for Call of Duty. But this is a fun tool. Um, I just chose quick comparison here, and I'll show you how this works really quick so that you can play around if maybe you get some downtime and you're not at your console or game or whatever, and you just can't stop thinking Call of Duty. Uh, we're going to choose Salt Rifle, and we will just pick the Ram 7, okay? Uh, next up. We're going to choose a monolithic here. We're going to choose the Ranger. We're going to go with the Tac Laser. And let's go with the VLK three time. And obviously, we want 50 rounds, right, guys? All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. It won't let you pick any more. And here you can see the stats coming in. Uh, what you're losing by adding, what you're gaining by adding, uh, that's pretty neat. But let's let's see what else uh this does and what's really cool um back to ram 7 we're going to compare something that we're not sure if it's better for us and how we play and uh somebody else might say something's really good but you get it set up and you're like no that's that's that doesn't feel like that for me i like this instead um don't don't get married to to one setup basically is is what i'm getting at um, because someone else said that, you know, this is the de facto uh, thing that you need or whatever. So we set this up the same, except that we uh, we pulled the tack laser. And actually, let's do this. Let's not do this guy. Let's add a stippled grip. 
So we, we pulled the laser and we added a stipple grip. So that's one, two, three, four, five again. And we're going to save and generate. Now you can do this across all the guns. So if you want to see the Graw and the M13 and just all that stuff, get it, get it, get it. So here's what you can see from these two comparisons. ADS is uh, faster with the laser, um, but you're losing uh, sprint to fire time. Uh, tactical sprint to fire um, is better with the um, with the uh, stipple grip. Your let's see. Well, everything else here is the same. So um, what's more important to you? You come over here and see um, basically where you're at for uh, for for each uh, each gun. And there is you can go heads. Uh, Damage per second, time to kill. I mean, this, this, this is an awesome tool. This is an awesome tool. Uh, include bullet time, uh, bullet travel time to target. That is useful for sniper rifles, though I think uh, most of us can figure that out. Now, if you get start getting a bunch of uh, guns in here, which you'll see is a staggered chart. Um, so that that's neat as well. Um, that way, you know, for the distance, that you're shooting. Um, in fact, do this. Let's say you're, you've got, you know that you built a gun that's meant for like 20, uh, 20 meters or closer. Well, you'll find out in a hurry that, you know, you, you'll have one, one gun that may be more effective statistically, uh, speaking, because we've gone over why that may not work best for you, um, based on your play style and, um, maybe sensitivity and stuff like that. Uh, but what this will do is this will tell you, hey, this gun dominates at this range, This, you know, but it loses out to another gun you may prefer once you get up to 40 meters and so on. So it's very, very awesome. Don't want to keep this any longer than it's already been. Uh, but uh, codgundata.com, uh, it's an awesome resource to play around with the various weapon systems. Uh, give it a try. You'll probably like it. I'm not affiliated with this site in any way, shape, or form. Um, but it, what I've have played around and played with the guns, it feels pretty good to me. Um, I, 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 I believe it's accurate. Uh, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, obviously, I'm a little lean there. Um, I do stream on Twitch. I do stream on YouTube from time to time. I also stream on Facebook. Uh, all the Brandon AF at on all social media platforms give me a follow if you want to see me fragging out um or if you want to uh, join in uh or if you just want to hit the chat uh because you're busy not being busy and watching me stream uh backseat gaming totally uh love that uh, also i uh i do a lot of uh you know trolling too um respectfully of course but it, you know we want to have fun and that's what we do you can want to have fun as well. The Brain AF out.